Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lex and today's video is going to be a Dollar Tree haul. I actually went to Dollar Tree and Family Dollar, but I went to Family Dollar just for a couple of items to show you guys that cost a dollar too. So everything in this video costs just one dollar. This haul video is about to be all aesthetics. Like everything I got is basically my aesthetic and I am in love with everything. So I think I'm going to start off with dishware and like cups. All right, so the first bowls that I got are just these clear glass bowls and these came from, everything right now came from Dollar Tree. I'll let you know when I switch to Family Doll. And I grabbed two of them. I actually already have two, so I decided to get two more to show you guys and to make a full set. These bowls are perfect for my smoothie bowls. I just feel like it looks so cute. If I wanna take pictures, they come out great. You can see the layers if you wanna layer like a parfait or something in it. And for $1, you can't beat it. The next bowls I got, I actually have two of already too. So I decided to get two more to make a full set. And they're just these super simple white bowls. We didn't have any just simple dishware. I'm pretty sure everyone's parents has like that weird dishware set that looks like it belongs in a china hut. And for me, I like nice clean looking bowls. I feel like it motivates me to eat healthy and to cook instead of eating out. So yeah, a dollar each, you can't beat it. This bowl size is extremely perfect for like oatmeal, smaller salads, or if you wanna put pasta in it. Love those. Next set I got are a pair of these clear mugs. I want to use these for when I make my maca lattes. I don't like coffee, I don't drink coffee. I'm a tea girl, I don't do caffeine at all. So if it has caffeine in it, I'm staring away from it. So I wanna use this for when I make my maca latte or if I wanna be really cute and use this for tea. You know what else would go really good in this? If you're making a parfait because the size is so perfect. Some bowls are just entirely too big for uh, parfaits and then trying to put all those ingredients inside like the container that it comes with is too small. So yes, this is gonna be perfect for parfaits, lattes, and uh, tea. The next set of dishes that I got are a pair of four pack of like these dipping trays. Super excited that I found these because I am a dip girl. I don't do dairy or eggs, which means most likely if I'm having a dip, I have to make it. And I hate putting dip directly on the plate because it just runs everywhere. So I got a pack of four of these like clear glass dip trays. Super cute, perfect size for dips. They're gonna be great. Okay, so that was it for the actual glass dishes. Next, let's move on to some of the cups that I got. They have some really pretty cups out right now, you guys. The first one I got is this coffee cup or like tea cup. That's what I'm gonna use it for. I got the one that's in like this teal color, uh, turquoise color. What is this? I'm not quite sure the exact color grip on it. They had this cup with different color grips on it. And I chose this because it's like around my favorite type of color. This cup is perfect if you want to take your tea or coffee on the go. Nice size and it's super pretty like in my hands. Look at it. Looks great. The next two cup sets I got are super, super cute. So you get two cups for the price of $1 and they're the same type of coffee cup, a little thinner plastic. All these cups are BPA free also, you guys. And this set says wakey wakey on it. Super freaking cute. The next set I got, same thing, two for one and it says soothing on it. These cups are gonna be perfect if I'm on the go and I wanna do my lemon water. So yes. Okay, so the next couple of items I'm gonna talk about are for the home candles. Oh my gosh, I actually don't have any candles, which is surprising. I switched over like probably a year ago to like using more incense and wax burners. So I don't have any candles at all. I definitely need to pick up some candles for when I do bath time or when I don't wanna use heavy lighting. So I picked up four candles that are super cute. Like Dollar Tree has stepped up when it comes to their candle game. So the first candle I picked up is in the scent Coastal Pine. Super pretty packaging, I'm in love. This color right here is like one of my favorite colors. I just love this, I don't know if it's, what is this, teal, turquoise, love it, super cute. Second one I got is in the scent Coral, Coral Sea. And both of these candles smell really, really nice. I'm definitely gonna use these candles during bath times, during a bubble bath or something like that. The next two candles that I found at Dollar Tree are super cute. I actually think I wanna gift these or save them for like a gift because they are just too cute. So the first one, it says number three, the sticker on there says number three, happy. And it's by the brand Old Williamsburg. Yeah, and this is what it looks like blue packaging with like the cork top, super cute. And the next one is the exact same packaging, same brand and it's number four and this scent is Energy. 
super cute. Next two items I got are wax burners. One in this beautiful, beautiful, what is this, like a Tiffany blue color. And then the next one I got is in a white color. And I went ahead and picked up some candles to put in these wax burners. I didn't pick up any wax. I actually didn't see wax, but I didn't need any anyways because I have a ton of wax from Walmart. So the candles that I picked up, I wanna say it's four. A pack of four and they are in the scent vanilla. Oh my God, they smell so freaking good. The size of these wax burners are so freaking perfect for bad time if I want to put them on like a little stand next to some flowers. Gonna be super cute. And since I'm talking about bath time so much, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the bath items that I got. So I picked up this clear BPA free um, soap tray cause I needed a soap tray, I don't have one. I'll show you guys my whole bath time setup like with the items that I use. Cause I feel like it'll be super cute. It'll give you guys some ideas on your self care day and you know, taking care of yourself on a budget. Next item I got for bath time is a bath mat and it's 100% vinyl. I wanted to pick up multiple one of these because I feel like it's very hard finding these for a dollar. I was super excited to find this bath mat because I bought so many bath mats over the year and I had no idea that Dollar Tree sold them for a dollar. I feel like the cheapest I've ever found a bath mat was probably like three dollars at Walmart. So I was super excited to find this for just a dollar. The next item I picked up for bath time is a bath brush and this is essential for me. I feel like this is the reason why I have such soft skin because I exfoliate at least five times out of the week using a brush like this. I've used these brushes plenty of times before to know how great they are. So I just picked up a new one and I believe that is it for all the items I got for bath time. So the next item I picked up is a small flower vase. This vase is perfect for my desk or even if I wanna use it during a self care day, during the bubble bath. I love the design on it. I believe it says, uh, it has like a date on it. Super cute, can't wait to use this. I almost feel like you can drink out of it too. I won't be doing that, super cute. It says, since 1810, oh, it says Dairy Milk by Heritage Company. Wow, didn't know that. I also picked up a pencil holder for my desk too. Didn't have one of these, so you can't beat it for a dollar. All right, so these next couple of items are definitely my faves because they're bags and I feel like I am a bag lady. Not in that type of way, I just love bags. The first one I picked up is this little wristlet right here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this for chain or to hold other things. Super cute, perfect for your bag. I feel like no one wants a bunch of items just floating around in their tote bags. So I love picking up small little bags like this from Dollar Tree. Next two I got are super freaking cute. They almost have like a suede like feel to it. One is in this soft pink and the other one is in this purplish blue color. Super cute. These are perfect to put makeup in or if you need to put like your pads or tampons, your mini brushes. Perfect for big tote bags. I also found this cute polka dot makeup bag. I honestly didn't know Dollar Tree had makeup bags. Definitely gonna put this in like my overnight bag or the bag that I keep in my car full of like emergency makeup. The size of this bag is perfect. It'll fit all your essentials in there for sure. Okay, so the next three bags I got are all tote bags. I like to use tote bags when I go grocery shopping. I only have two right now. What I've been finding is that I need more because sometimes I accidentally leave one in the house or I'll do multiple grocery store runs. So I'll go to Kroger and then run to Aldi and then run to Trader Joe's. And by that time, both of my tote bags are used. So then I have to use a paper bag or plastic bag. So I went ahead and picked up some more tote bags. The first one I got is in this super cute spring print. And it's by a brand called Main Street Totes Reusable Bags. Love it, super cute, smaller size, and it's more of like a plasticky material. This bag is gonna be super cute when I go to the farmer's market, I'm just saying. And then the next two tote bags I got are just your basic, one is in like a hot pink and the other one in the black, your basic cloth bag. I love how big these tote bags are and I love how they have a pocket right here. So if you wanna drop your keys right in here or something else that you just need to grab, you have that option. I'm really happy to see that Dollar Tree has tote bags. Okay, so the next items I got are for my purse. They're definitely purse essentials for me. Okay, so the first thing that I need to pick up, and I've went through so many of these, is a, oh, it's actually called a purse brush. I have went through so many of these, and it's basically like a compact brush. So these bristles can go in, and then the part with the mirror on it, you can close over. So when you wear smaller bags and you don't wanna carry around your big brush, these are perfect. The mirror is honestly not the best, or maybe I never actually removed the film. Let me see. Oh, yeah. The mirror's actually good, you guys. It's actually good. 
So if you need to use the mirror, you can. Love this. And they actually have the circle ones too. I like the ones in the rectangular shape because it's like a traditional brush to me. The next item I got for my purses are hand sanitizer. You can't go wrong. Definitely make sure you keep hand sanitizer on you or you can keep wet wipes. So I picked up some antibacterial moist wipes too. It says for face and hands, but I definitely won't be using these on my face. I'll be using these just for my hands or if I need to clean something up real quick. Tissue is another purse essential. It come in clutch so many times where you're like stranded somewhere where you don't want to run to a bathroom and there's no like napkins or anything around. Just pull out your tissue out of your purse and you are good to go. And Dollar Tree had a couple of different options. They had the Kleenex. The Kleenex brand only comes with three. I've gotten those before, they work great, but I decided to pick up the no brand ones because they come with eight, because they come with eight instead of three and I feel like three would just run out extremely fast and I have a lot of bags so I just want to pop one of these in each of my bags. I don't have to like switch out everything when I change bags. I also picked up some travel bottles. These are definitely perfect for traveling. I've used them before. I'll put like my toner, lotion, facial wash, and water in like the spray bottle. I actually have one of the squeeze bottles in my purse right now with lotion in it. Dollar Tree actually has small travel lotions like Jergens and other brands, but I try to stick to cleaner lotions. So I didn't pick up those. Instead, I'll just use the lotion that I do use and squeeze it into those bottles. Next item I picked up is an olive green umbrella. I don't know how many times I've been in places and I'm like, I'm not sure if I should bring my big umbrella. I don't know. I don't want to lug that big old thing around. So I grabbed this because it's the perfect size to just throw in one of my tote bags if I'm grocery shopping. I'm not sure what the weather's looking like. If it's going to rain by the time I come out or if I'm going to catch it. So I grabbed this to throw into my tote bags instead of lugging around my big umbrella. The next item I got is a water bottle or a bottle for um, water for me. I love the iridescentness of this. It's also BPA free, super cute, and I actually didn't have any water bottles that I could just throw in my purse. Hopefully this doesn't leak. I feel like that's the problem with water bottles is eventually somehow or another end up leaking. I love the way this looks, love the size of it. I feel like this is definitely over, oh yeah, it's 30 fluid ounces, so that's definitely enough. I hate small water bottles. If it's anything under 20 ounces and I'm like using it for water, it just annoys me. And the last two items I picked up for my purse, these are more for my car too, are a pair of sunglasses and a sunglass case. So I definitely wanted to pick up a pair of just cheap sunglasses because I'm the type of person I'm always always breaking sunglasses but now that the sun is out i'm finding myself reaching into my console for like broken sunglasses that have just been sitting in my car for the longest because when that sun hits that certain hour and it's just beaming like literally i cannot see at all so i picked up these i picked up an aviator style let's see how these look on I tried them on in the store but the mirror in the store was a little janky oh snap girl these are actually really cute and my cheeks kind of you know a little big and they don't do they don't sit on my cheeks like I always find when I wear aviator style they sit on my cheeks and these don't these look so freaking cute okay yes a dollar the next section that I went ahead and browsed in is their little small little clothing section I went ahead and picked up a pair of socks it's a set of three four dollars so I love that deal and I'm the type of person I hate spending money on socks for some reason all my socks come from my mother. Either I take them from her or she ends up just giving them to me because I can't buy socks for some reason. Like every time I go to buy socks, I end up getting bras and underwear instead. I don't know. I don't know. And I've actually already tested out Dollar Tree socks before and I love them. They're soft like polyester spandex blend. I hate like those hard cotton socks. Super cute footies. They even have men's socks too, so definitely check them out for the socks. The next two items I got from Dollar Tree are infinity scarves. I'll probably cut them to where they're just scarves and not infinity scarves because they're not like a warm scarf at all. So I feel like it kind of looks weird as an infinity scarf because this is definitely not a scarf you use for warmth. It's more so of like a fashion scarf. The first one I got is in this dark, dark navy blue. It almost looks black. And it has um, white dots on it. Throw this on a tote bag. You could use it as a belt. You could style it as a top if you would like. And then of course you could definitely wear it as like a head scarf. Love this. And I feel like this is perfect for spring because it kind of gives you nautical vibes. Depends on like what you pair it with. And I'll probably show you guys some ways how to style this. I really like this one. This is my favorite one. And the next one is this geometric 
definitely spring to I don't know what this reminds me of this reminds me of something maybe Easter I don't know super cute geometric soft oranges nudes some greens in there some yellows I want to cut this one as well I feel like this scarf would be super perfect tied around your head or even as a top can't wait to cut this and play around with it and the next three items I got I'm super surprised about it I want to say these are it yeah this is the last three items that I got from Dollar Tree I picked up some basic t-shirts from Dollar Tree I feel like you can't beat it a dollar it's even hard finding just like plain t-shirts like these at thrift stores because they're either dingy or have something on them so the first one I picked up has the sticker Youth T on it, but it's in a size large and I love it because it's not 100% cotton so it has like a little stretch to it. I definitely feel like I want to crop this. That's the reason why I picked up these shirts because I was like, I want to crop some shirts but I don't want to be spending $5 on a shirt when I can spend $1 and crop it. So yes, pick these t-shirts up to crop. The first one is in this lovely gray. The second one I picked up is in this beautiful blue and this is an adult t-shirt. And this is what it looks like. Can't wait to crop this one. And the last one I picked up is in a neon lime green. And this was honestly the only way that I was going to try the lime green neon trend. This one is a youth tee as well. So it's going to be perfect cropped. I would definitely check out Dollar Tree if you want to make some crop tops. And you don't want to spend $5 on a t-shirt. Or you would like to spend $1 instead. I feel like you cannot beat that deal. The last items that I got from Dollar Tree. I know everyone is familiar with is food. So I picked up some Himalayan pink salt. I was so happy to find this, you guys. I usually get my Himalayan pink salt from places like Ross or Burlington because I feel like they have the best deal. So when I found a bag that would normally be sold like at somewhere like that for just a dollar instead of like the $2.99 or $3.99, I was like, yes, it's non-GMO, vegan, kosher. It's the legit salt, you guys. So if you use Himalayan salt or sea salt or you want to switch from table salt, stop using table salt. Definitely pick you up some Himalayan pink salt from Dollar Tree. And the last item I got are some vegan veggie meatballs. When I seen that they actually had vegan frozen food at Dollar Tree, I definitely decided to test these out. These are more of like an Indian veggie ball, kind of like a falafel ball. It's going to be perfect like on top of salads or if you want to throw them in wraps. And it comes with a total of eight balls for one dollar. So if you're trying to do like meatless Monday, want to try some vegan eats out, try these out. They're just a dollar. So I actually didn't pick up any beauty items from Dollar Tree because I feel like I have all my like essential items that I would get that are from their beauty section. And it's honestly really just like their pedicure sets or if I need to get like some cotton rounds or cotton balls for like my nails. But of course there's more than one dollar store out and Family Dollar definitely has some great dollar deals in their beauty section. So I wear fake nails and I love like the whole clean crisp look that I got going on right now. And what I use to get these nails are the LA Colors French Overlap Nails. And it's a set of 80 nails with the different shapes. Oh my god, love, love, love these. They're the perfect like coffinish rectangular shape and these only cost a freaking dollar and the nail polish that i use over top of these nails are are the la colored nail lacquers and this is in the shade american manicure and this is what my nails look like super cute la colors also does a fake lashes that I absolutely love. I've been using them for years now. I'm actually going to run to another family doll to see if I can find some other styles. I found Dainty at the one that's right up the street. They have one called Diva that's my favorite too. This is what the style Dainty looks like. Love these and I've actually been able to wear these multiple times before getting rid of them. Only a dollar you guys. Absolutely love these. I would suggest you go to Family Dollar for fake lashes instead of okay, real quick you guys i went to family dollar another family dollar and they're actually closing a lot of the family dollars in the area i believe they're turning them into dollar trees ironically so they were out of a lot of the la colors um products but i went to dollar general and found them so dollar general also has the la colors line for a dollar so i picked up the lashes diva and this is what they look like these are my favorite because they're more wispy than the dainties so yeah you guys the dainties are more natural and the diva is wispy all right you guys so that was it for this dollar tree haul hope you guys enjoyed it let me know down below what you feel like was definitely a steal for just a dollar and if you like this video like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye